So for resolution, what you're going to see here is uh, the width and the height, and this is the pixel resolution of the screen that will be showing off Air Effects. And for my television here, it's got a few different options. I'm going to go with the highest resolution, which is also mentioned here as native. For display, if you have more than one screen, you want to choose which screen that will be. I only have this television monitor on mine, so this is the only display that it sees. So just uh, select the one that you intend ARFX to be running on. For screen dimensions, you can measure your screen uh, with width and height, and then you input them here. And that can be in centimeters or in inches, whether it's a large LED wall or a television screen or a projection screen. What you're going to do is you're going to measure the, the edge of the actual screen. So I want to measure from right here and go down to the edge of the screen right here. I simply put in 165.1 and 92.71. The system itself updated it with a bunch of extra numbers in the back. It should be fine. For the tracker puck serial numbers, um, right now I have uh, I have it blanked out. What I want to, what you want to do is click on auto. Anything that's in the system, the serial numbers should auto populate here and here. And you can also click on check to make sure that it's in there. If these are in the wrong spot, this one is the, uh, the hero puck tracker number and this is the calibration tracker number. Um, if these are incorrect when you run air effects, when you come back out into this menu, swap them and run it again, they should be correct. For hotkeys, if you run out of hotkey options for all the different commands that you want to do, what you can do is then use the control, alt, or shift options and the way that you would execute this command would then be to hold down the hotkey and the, the modifier button here in order to execute that command. So here I can show you that we've got for some of the bookmarks we've got equals and hyphen as the hotkey but we also have the next bookmark and previous bookmarks of the skip options. You can use those by holding down control and then hitting equals or hyphen to get a slightly different command. The buttons down here, we've got reset hotkeys. If you click on this, basically everything here gets reset to the default settings. Patch Steam VR, you click that once, and that should allow any updates to Steam to not interfere with air effects running correctly. And then once you have all your settings correct, you click save to save all the settings in your launcher. I'm going to click launch. And it's going to ask me to log in. So go ahead and log in with your ARR wall and login info. So I put in my email address and I put in my password. And now I'm going to hit sign in. All right, now I've got the launcher up and running. And this is on the calibration screen. So I'm going to show you how to calibrate. So I've got my calibration puck tracker here. All right, so in the calibration screen here, it will tell you how to calibrate on screen. It will also notate down here what buttons you use to calibrate and to get out of the calibration menu. And you'll see that as I'm moving this, that the, the uh, lighthouses are seeing my tracker because it's this green sensor in the middle. It's moving when I move this tracker. And the way to calibrate is I want to make sure that the green line is pointing up where the red line is. And I place this right in the center of the uh, red X here. And I want to also make sure that the back of the tracker is flush to the screen. So you don't want to calibrate it like this or this. You know, you want it to be flush against the screen like this. And then once it's here, you press your calibration button, which for me is C. I'm going to hit C. And you'll see that the background might jump a few times when you're calibrating, and that's fine. And then you can remove it when you're done and exit out of the calibration screen like so. And then from here, my hero tracker is on um, the cell phone mount, and as I move it around, I'll see that the air effects is working correctly. Mm -hmm. 